And I'm back at it again with my 6.5 Grendel shown here. And I am still using the 100 grain tip triple shock X bullets from Barnes. They're doing pretty well for me so far. There's one of the first critters in my backyard the other night. And this next one ended up kind of getting me in a little bit of trouble with the wife because it was about 70 yards or so from my back door. Oh well, it happens. On now to the first hunt. And this boar gave me a lot of trouble. Mostly because I was afraid to try to circle around and get to him because the wind is blowing directly at him right now. And it's a fairly significant wind. Why he never scented me, I have no idea. But he didn't. Unfortunately, I'm also standing in a ditch and my trigger sticks are no longer working. So I'm resting right now across a single strand of barbed wire and I'm going to attempt to make this shot and we're going to see how it happens or how it goes down. But we're going to have to wait a little bit. So I will cut here to the point where he finally decides to stick his nose out and then I'm going to get lucky. And we're going to watch him do a little dance here. So here he is. He stuck his nose out and here we go. Not knowing if he's down to the count, I stick a quality assurance shot in him, and that actually gets him going. But, turns out it's just reflexes. And here's the third coming up. Those last two shots were completely not necessary. But I didn't want to risk it, because I didn't want him to run off. I had enough of those problems with the previous bullet. So, here it is, I'm just going to scan and watch him kick for a little while. Let's see how he did. He ended up being about 180 to 190 pound bore. I forgot my tape, so it's just an estimation. You can see that the bullet entered here in between the eye and the ear, directly into the brain, and it transited and exiting out in the exact same location on the opposite side of the head. So that hog was down. And there is the exit wound from the second shot, or the first quality assurance shot. This next hog I actually ended up catching out in the open, so I'm going to use a traditional hunting shot placement, and I really just want to see how this bullet is going to do when you stick it into the vitals and you give a hog a chance to run. This ended up going pretty quickly, and that's mostly because the wind is swirling, and I did not want to give him a chance to win me. So here we go. Little dust came up. And that went a little bit better than I had actually planned. Sometimes hydrostatic shock can still occur with the 6.5 Grendel. Again, this is about 180 to 190 pound bore. And you can see here on the last frame before the shot that the crosshairs are right on the meaty point or the point of the shoulder. And that's where this bullet struck. You can see I tried to stick a little piece of grass into the entry hole where the bullet entered right about at the top of the heart, square in the middle of the lungs, and it managed to get full penetration, exiting in almost the exact same spot on the opposite side. Not a lot of blood. I imagine it probably filled up the cavity. But so far, this bullet has been doing excellent for me. Still a small sample size, but hopefully we'll get a chance to use some again soon. And that's it for my hunt. I hope you all had a wonderful day.